Hi guys, Maverick Veteran here. I've got some quite important news that's come through to, uh, in research. Uh, it's been stated now by myself and others that the prosecution of Northern Ireland Vets and EU Defence Union are linked in some way and I think we may have discovered what that link is. Uh, recent video footage was put out on social media of Ben Wallace, the Secretary of State for Defence, admitting key agreements had been made to the EU, but he wasn't aware or didn't know if they're being made to the pillars of Defence Union, which are those eight pillars that you would have seen on Twitter and throughout social media. He doesn't know if they're voluntary, or whether they will lead us into all-out defence union. He has stated it's a legal argument. And for us, well, that's wholly unacceptable. Wholly unacceptable. That the Secretary of State for Defence doesn't know the answers to the questions that are being asked. Well, we have some more questions now. We need to know who are the lawyers he is going to for this advice. We need the names so that we can do our due diligence. Is he asking perhaps Linda Dan? for legal advice in this matter? And if he is, is this the same Linda Dan who was Deputy Director, Operational and International Humanitarian Law Team, Central Legal Services, Whitehall, from August 2005 to March 2012? Then became Deputy Director, Corporate Strategy Law Team. And is now the Head of European Bilateral Relations and EU Exit at the Ministry of Defence. Ladies and gents, bilateral relations are included in EU Defence Union. And that's a fact. That is a fact as admitted by the EU. Now, if my suspicions are proven correct, we have a key personality that is the link to both the prosecution of Northern Ireland veterans and EU Defence Union. Now we've been stating this uh, all along, that the two areas are linked. And the two areas linked together will create or cause the destruction of the HM Armed Forces brand. So we must fight these two areas simultaneously, as it's quite clear they do definitely go hand in hand. So please get this shared everywhere and see if we can get the Secretary of State for Defence to spot the rabbit in the rabbit hole and end both issues now before it's too late. And we as a nation lose our ability to fight and protect ourselves, which we've been doing for thousands of years. Thanks for listening. Take care. Stay safe. This call sign is 
out.